Hey, how's it going? This is Seth from RE Tipster. In this video, I want to show you a unique way to filter and create lists of property owners that uh, may or may not be obvious to you. So most people who use DataTree, including me, when they want to build a list, they go up here to advanced search. And this is where you would start filtering out the types of properties that you're looking for based on the state, the county, what type of property it is, whether it's a vacant land or a house. Maybe if you want to filter it down to those who are absentee owners or owners who live out of state and on and on it goes. And this is a perfectly fine way to do that. It works well, but I'm in a situation right now where I have a fairly narrow box of what I'm looking for. And it's kind of hard to narrow it down based on the criteria here. Not not because the options aren't there, but this is just a more cumbersome way to do it considering what I'm looking for. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So this is just a hypothetical scenario, but let's say I'm looking for vacant lots that I could potentially use to develop a new self storage facility or whatever else I want to build. Maybe it's a small neighborhood or a commercial building or even a house. So once you know the general vicinity of where you're trying to find and tag these properties, I call it parcel tagging. All you got to do is zoom to that area in data tree, or if you know an address, you could type in that address here. And once you're there on the map, you can click on more map and it will expand it like this and you can zoom into the area. So I'm here in Millington, Michigan. Let's say I want a parcel that is kind of in the center of this little town or at least not far from it. And it looks like it's about five acres or larger. And uh, it just kind of has the look of a property that could be developed into a storage facility or again, whatever else you're trying to build. So I could go in here and zoom in a little bit and find those properties and tag them. And you can tag them by using this little pencil icon. And what you're gonna do is click on freehand. And all we have to do is draw anything on the property that looks like a good fit and move on. So for example, I'm going to draw on this one right here. And now I'm going to move up here. Where else is it good? And this one looks like it could work. So we're going to click freehand again. And now we're going to draw this one. Just make any kind of a mark. It can be a dot or a line. Doesn't really matter. You can keep moving along. I'm going to do this one too. And click freehand again and do this one as well. And this one looks like it could work. So we're going to click that too. And we're going to click this too. So, you know, as you can see, I don't know whether these properties are residential, whether they're commercial. I don't know if it's an absentee owner or not, or I guess they probably are because it's vacant land, but there's a lot of details. I don't know about these parcels of land and that's okay. I'm not even necessarily looking for highly motivated sellers. I'm not intending to make a super low offer. I'm actually willing to make a pretty high offer because I have a plan for this property that goes beyond just flipping it. I'm actually hoping to develop it or create a site plan or give it entitlements or rezone it or something to improve its value. So whoever I contact, when I make them an offer, there's a much higher likelihood they're actually going to accept that. So let's go ahead and tag this one too. And once I've tagged all the properties that I think might be a good fit, where I think there's actually some potential, and my next step is to then download the list to send mail or possibly send them texts or even cold call them. Because again, we're not getting thousands of properties here. We're just getting a small handful of very targeted, intentionally chosen properties. Once we do that, we go ahead and click apply. And everything that we tagged is going to get applied to our list. So we'll click less map and now here we've got the list that we just made. Now, this is a fairly small list. If I was doing this for real, I'd probably spend a little bit more time. I might have like 20 or 30 or 40 properties in a small town like this. But uh, once you've got this, you can go ahead and export the list and go through the normal steps that you would normally do this. By the way, if you've never downloaded a list from DataTree before, I have another video that explains in much more detail how to do this in terms of what steps to take once you get here. And also, uh, you know, if you're somebody who's going to be skip tracing these leads and you want to then get their email addresses and phone numbers so you could text or email them or call them. I have another video explaining how to do that as well. But just on this initial step of building your list through data tree, if you didn't know you could do this, I just wanted to point it out so that you're aware of this. Because I know in some cases when you're doing this kind of parcel tagging process where you know, you're know you not casting a very wide net, you're looking at very specific characteristics that may not be quantifiable in the normal advanced search function. This is how you can do that just by looking at the parcel map and tagging them this way and 
downloading your list like this. So you could do this exact same kind of thing if you were looking for properties around a lake or properties on a mountainside or properties on a specific road. And this freehand tool just makes it really easy to just, you know, tap the one you're interested in and it'll add it to the list. And if you're not a data tree user, you can actually get discounted access to data tree. If you sign up through the RE tips, your affiliate link, I'll have that beneath this video. If you want to check it out, hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time.